My girlfriend left me on the day I was proposing without any explanation. The story includes me, 28M, my, now ex, girlfriend Elise, 27F, and her best friends Leah, 27F, and David, 27M. Elise and I had been together for three years and living together for 1.5 years. Our relationship was very strong and we were madly in love. All of our friends always used to say that we were a perfect couple. Our communication was strong and we had everything planned in our lives. I told her that I won't be marrying her before I get a job that pays well enough to build our family, and she agreed. Well, I got a very good job two months ago and we started planning our lives together. Our plan was to get married in the next year or two, buy a house, and then have kids when we have more financial stability. She also started dropping hints that I should propose. I was already planning to propose, so I started researching for rings, proposal venues, etc. This is when I contacted Leah and asked her to meet me and keep it a secret. I told her my plans and she confirmed that Elise would love this and also gave me some suggestions which I loved. Leah also included David as the three of them were best friends since childhood and knew each other very well. They also helped me pick the ring. The plan was to rent a cabin surrounded by nature and wilderness as Elise likes that a lot. I rented the cabin and on Friday I took the day off without telling my girlfriend and met up with Leah and David and one of my friends to set up everything. I gave instructions to my friend about how I wanted everything to be set up as he was supposed to go there the next day before us and set up everything, flowers, cameras etc. I went back home after that and ordered Elisa's favorite takeout. We talked about her day and then went to bed. Now a week ago Leah had invited Elise for brunch on Saturday, proposal day, at a new fancy place, the proposal location. She emphasized that the place was fancy so that Elise wouldn't get suspicious of Leah asking her to wear a nice dress. On Saturday morning Leah and David came to our apartment to pick up Elise. As soon as they left I called a friend of mine who was waiting just around the corner and I left soon after. Then I called my other friend who was supposed to be at the cabin and asked him how everything was going. He assured me that everything was set up exactly how I wanted it. I had also asked David to share their location and to drive slowly or take a longer route so that I can get there 10 to 15 minutes before them. I realized David hadn't shared the location but it was fine. We got there and I just ran in to change into a suit. Then I went to the exact position and checked the camera angles. Everything was perfect. Then I waited for my girlfriend and her friends to arrive. The drive is 30 to 40 minutes from our apartment and they should have been there. I thought they went slightly overboard with stalling. I waited there for another 20 minutes. It had already been more than an hour since they left the apartment and I was getting worried so I asked one of my friends to call David and sneakily ask how long it'll take them. They called him two to three times, but no answer. Then they called Leah two to three times. No answer. I assumed the worst. I called David and Leah as well. Still no answer. Finally. I decided to call Elise. First call, she didn't answer. My heart was racing at this point. As soon as I called her again, Leah answered instead. I was panicking and asked her if everything was all right and why is nobody answering the phone. She went silent for two seconds and then started yelling at me. She told me to never call Elise ever again and that I was dead to her that I was a horrible human being for doing that to her. That she doesn't want to see my face or talk to me ever again. I was confused, but before I could say anything she hung up. I was so confused and started crying and my friends had to console me. 
Soon after that, I got a text from Leah that she'll be coming over later with David to get Elise's stuff and that Elise doesn't even want to step into the apartment, even if I'm not there. I immediately called her parents to ask what was going on. They knew about the proposal and we were supposed to go to their home for lunch after the proposal. They had no clue what was going on and told me that they'll call her and ask. I got a call from them ten minutes later saying that they called Elise and she told them that she can't talk right now and she'll call them later. They were also confused about all this. I was devastated and I didn't know what to do. My friends took me back to my apartment and we hung out. David and Leah came over in the evening to take Elise's stuff. My friends and I tried to talk to them but they didn't say anything. They just asked me where Elisa's stuff was and just took some of it and said they'll be back for the rest. They also reiterated that if I tried contacting Elise again, I'll be reported for harassment. At that moment I just wanted to cry because just the thought of me harassing my girlfriend was overwhelming. After they left, my friends told me that they think I shouldn't be alone right now and they were staying the night and won't take no for an answer. We stayed up and talked till 4 a.m. last night and then everyone went to bed. I wasn't able to sleep and I've been just thinking about every potential reason for Elisa's behavior, but I don't have any answers. The only scenario I can think of is that Elise was cheating on me and somehow she realized I was going to propose and she freaked out and told her friends that she can't do this because I cheated on her. This still doesn't make sense but it's the closest thing to an explanation I have right now. I know it's a horrible thing to think about. Today was supposed to be the first day of our engaged life together. Hopefully, I'll be able to get some answers from her parents if they talk to her. This whole thing is suspicious. I bet Elise either told Leah and David a fake story or they both made up some fake story to get Elise to dump you. I don't know, all three of them are mad suspicious. Story 2 My husband is cheating on me with my best friend. My husband and I have been dating since I was 19 and he was 22. We've been married for six years now. We have two kids and I'm six months pregnant with our third. Two years ago I found out my dad has stage 3 colon cancer. My dad is my only parent as my mom passed away when I was 12. He's my favorite human and life without him doesn't seem as colorful. His laugh is contagious and he gives these big bear hugs that seem to make all of your broken pieces feel like they're perfectly in place again. Whenever I've had a hard day he doesn't poke and prod and just lets me vent and listens. About five months ago we discovered the treatments aren't working for him and in direct quote of the doctor he said months not years. Since then he's gotten progressively worse and now is losing memory. He looked at the dog he got for me on my 21st birthday and said wow that's a nice dog, where'd you get it? My husband has been my absolute rock. He has been there for me holding my hand and helping me through this. He's been so loving and attentive to both my kids and I, don't get me wrong, I am a mother first always. I don't allow myself to wallow. My kids are still loved, cared for, played with, and I haven't let my load slack around the house. Once my dad got his updated prognosis my husband encouraged me to quit my job. About a month later we discovered we were pregnant again and I still hadn't let go of my job, I kept holding out for some reason. After finding out I was pregnant again he ensured me it was still okay to quit my job, that honestly it would save us a small fortune on daycare costs anyways. So I did, I quit my job. My best friend and I have been friends since diapers. Her family is like my family and vice versa. My mom and her mom grew up together. We've always been solid and right after my dad's appointment when we found out he had so little time left I drove straight to her house and she held me while I cried for hours. If there are soulmates in friend form, she was mine. Thick as thieves is what my mom used to say. This morning as I was up with my three-year-old, he's sick, 
my husband's work alarm was going off. He has a few he sets so I turned that one off and gently woke him up, he said he was up late working so he took the morning off. Rolled over and went back to sleep. As I went to turn off the remainder of his alarms I saw a text from my friend on his lock screen that said I'm assuming since there hasn't been an angry pregnant lady on my doorstep you haven't told her about us yet? Time froze in that moment. I took his phone and walked away and just read their conversations. For months this man has been f***ing my best friend. For months these people have been lying to my face. And I know what you're going to say, you should have seen the warning signs. But I've been clutching this phone in my hand for two hours and nothing. He has been so loving and attentive to me, but he always has been. So kind and gentle. There has been no late-night work nights except for once in a blue moon, there has been no lingering touches between them or even glances. They act as they have since the day I first introduced them. How sick is it that she calls him her brother, but she screws him? I know so many people get a moment of clarity in situations like this, but I have none. Aside from being sad about my dad, I haven't changed. I'm still a loving wife and mother. I still doted on him and my children. I talk to him about how he is doing and how is his day every freaking day. I haven't allowed the ground to swallow me whole. I know what I have to do now, but I just don't want to. I'm about to lose my family and my support system in one blow. I'll confront him tomorrow. Today? Today, I just need this last 24 hours of peace. As for her, I won't give her the satisfaction of a response. I don't care why she did it. She did it and it's done. I was always the friend who cleaned up her messes. After today, I will cut her out of my life like she never mattered at all. This has to be the hardest storm I'll ever weather, but damn it I know it'll sail through it. If not for me, for my children. He encouraged you to quit your job while he was cheating on you. Forcing you to remain dependent on him. Well, he picked the wrong woman. Considering his lover seems to be putting pressure on him to confess so she can enjoy the confrontation, your plan to cancel her is the best. They are both despicable people, don't listen to their justifications and lies. You deserve sincere love and abundance.